everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to just be kind of getting ready and applying new makeup, loads of new makeup. Um, I've obviously done my doorstep this morning, stuff I haven't tried and I just thought it would be a nice way to kind of um, do the video a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my hair back so it doesn't get in the way and whack on some lip balm just to kind of get me started. And I got a lovely package of 17 um, makeup arrived this morning because I'm doing a kind of quite exciting video soon that I wanted to try these products for. And I've got kind of a combination of products but they all arrived this morning. I haven't used any of them and I'm really excited to. So the first thing I'm going to try is the 17 Stay Time Long Wear Primer for makeup that stays put, which looks just like that. And you can see I haven't even used this, it's still sealed. So I'm just going to get a little bit out and, oh, okay. It's tinted, first of all, which is quite interesting. It's got like a kind of foundation-y pale colour, so it'll be interesting to see if um, that kind of is okay for my skin. It's quite tacky feeling. Um, it's not very silicone based, it's more... A kind of tacky product so I would liken the texture to something like the Murad um, oil free sunscreen but just kind of smooth it on if I feel like it's the type of formula that if you rubbed it in it would get bitty but it definitely um, kind of feels like it's made your skin it'll make whatever you put on your skin kind of attach itself to your skin better so I've got my kind of enhancing mirror here and I'll just have a little look and see that I've got it all blended in everywhere. Right, I think that's okay. As you can see, my skin is not that fantastic this morning. It's that time of the month, and I've got a huge little friend just in between my eyebrows. But I'm going to try the foundation now, which I'm really excited about. And this is the Stay Time Up to 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation. I love their on the spot foundation, but I'm really excited to try this because I'm going to London next week um, for my birthday and I'm gonna be there all day. And I want a foundation that's gonna last all day long. And I was kind of trying to think, what foundation would I wear? Because I'm gonna be there from about 11 till gone midnight and I, like be out kind of thing so I wanted something that would last well so I'm gonna just open this it's still got all the stickers and everything on but I'm just gonna pump out a little bit on the back of my hand and I've got it in the shade honey which is the shade I've got in the on the spot foundation and it's a nice match but that's what it looks like it seems like quite a nice texture very kind of smooth and I'm applying it with my hands which I don't normally ever do just because um, if I haven't used a foundation before, I like to apply it with my hands just to kind of get a feel as to what the texture of it is like. But as you can see, the coverage of this is pretty nice. Um, it's kind of covering a lot of my redness. So a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to look at it in my magnifying mirror as well because that's what I like to do with foundations. I kind of look in a really magnifying mirror to kind of see how um, natural they look, how kind of blended they are. My nose is in desperate need of some coverage, but I can tell that I'm going to love this with my Real Techniques buffing brush, which basically is what I use for every foundation on the planet. But the coverage of this is really, really nice. I've got a huge spot I've just noticed by my lip. What is up with my spottage this morning? It's just horrible. But applied all over the skin. It's not super natural, like I can tell that I've got foundation, but I think once it sinks in a little bit more, it will look better. And with a brush, I always find the finish is better anyway. But so far, the coverage of this is really, really impressive. I love the coverage. It's kind of made my skin look so much nicer and more even. Now for concealer, I'm super, super excited about this. And this is their um, Pore Paint, Heavy Duty and Dry Concealer. And it's basically a dupe for the Benefit Erase Paste. Looks like this. And I'm really excited to try this because I feel like it's a product that's definitely missing on the high street. And I've got it in the shade Medium. So I'm just going to apply this with my finger. And just on my under eye area and just tap it in. I tend to kind of tap it in with my middle finger, not my ring finger, 
which I know everyone says you should, but I just find that if I do it with my ring finger, it takes me forever because my ring finger is so small. But let's have a look at the difference between that eye and the other eye. So you can see it's kind of already made the darkness look far less noticeable on this eye compared to this eye. But the coverage isn't like tremendous. I still think I'd probably need to use a little bit of a um, corrector underneath. But the texture of this is really nice. It's non-sticky. Packaging's really cute. Comes with a little mirror. And I just, I love testing new makeup. So that's kind of how I will leave it now. I feel like that's kind of enough. But I feel like that's really, feels like it's going to stay on my skin. And then I've got the matching concealer as well, which is their full cover, 18 hour um, stay time concealer in medium. So let me just get the packaging off. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no we don't. It's just got so much better. So I got in there in the end. Um, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto my blemish prone area, which is this lovely little friend right here. And just tap that in. I'm not, I'm trying to use minimal brushes just to kind of get a feel in terms of texture and that kind of thing with these products. But it's not something I would normally do. I would normally always use a brush. And I'll put a little bit onto any marks I've got. And just blend those in with my finger, just tap it in. It has got quite nice coverage, it's kind of not too um, cakey looking from what I can see either. Just a little bit under my brows because I feel like they always need a bit of extra coverage for some reason. I just find the skin there gets very uneven and horrible. So that is those. I'm really excited. I really like how my foundation looks actually. It's kind of very flawless, but um, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. Like I don't feel like I've got tons of makeup on. Then for powder, um, I'm just going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm going to just powder kind of the oily areas. Oh, got hair there powder the super oily areas and I'm not going to powder my cheeks just to kind of see how this lasts just kind of out of curiosity and then for the rest of my makeup it's going to be super low key because I really just wanted to try the new products but I'm going to use a little bit of the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzing Powder I know I use this constantly but what can I say I just love it <laughs> under my chin especially just to kind of disclose any double chinage and then I am going to use just a little bit of a contour. Again, I've used this in so many videos, but the MUA powder in number four. I'm going to do a video soon, I think, about slimming your face down as well, because I've got quite a few tricks and things that I've been doing lately that I feel really help. So I will do that soon. And I've noticed in the other mirror, wearing your hair like this does not slim your face down. But that is my um, bronzer and everything done. And then for my brows, I'm just going to again use my trusty Essence Brow Kit um, just to fill them in just a little bit. I'm trying to kind of not pluck them for a little bit until next week because A, it's my birthday um, on Thursday? Next Thursday um, is my birthday and also the next day I'm going to a party and I can't find my brow brush there is the next day I'm going to a party and then the day after that I'm doing something as well and then the day after that is my boyfriend's birthday so we're doing something and then the day after that we're doing something as well so I've kind of got a busy few days and I just want to kind of look the nicest that I can so I'm trying to just kind of make everything um look as good as it can so I'm trying to just grow out just kind of these areas just a little bit because I feel like they've kind of gone a bit sparse but that's it I'm going to just leave my brows like that it's nothing too out there and then for my eyes I'm going to just use a little bit of the MUA primer just a small amount I'm not going to use tons of eyeshadow actually I don't know if I will use eyeshadow today at all we'll see how I feel in a minute 
sometimes I plan what makeup I'm going to wear and then other times I just like to go with it and see whatever I feel like. So with that applied, um, what eyeshadows have I got in here that I haven't used yet? Surely there is something that I haven't used. Yes, there's loads of those ones, but I don't want to use those because they are too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to use this Revlon um, Khaki and Nude Duo. And it is the Photo Ready Kajal Intense Eyeliner and Brightener, which looks like this. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Khaki shade on my upper lash line. And then just smudge that out, I think. Just a kind of a very soft line. Apply a little bit more. And just kind of smudge that out. And then it's just a very pretty, kind of slightly khaki. Well, I've smudged it right next to my eye now. So it's a kind of smudgy, slightly smoky eye, I don't know, would we call this a smoky eye? It's not smoky eye at all really, is it? It's just a kind of quick eye look. But I'm not going to put any more on that because I've already done it. And then the brightener in here, I really like. It's a nice um, nude eye pencil and you know how much I love the nude eye pencils. So I'm just going to pop this in my lower lash line, my waterline. I know it's not good to kind of pull your eye area too much, but I've got quite weird shaped eyes and nothing kind of tends to work, but I'm going to leave my eyes like that. Just apply a little bit of mascara and I'm going to use whatever pops out first, which was the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I really hated this to begin with and kind of the older it's gotten, the more I like it. And I find that with most mascaras actually. It's very few that impress me upon first application. But that sucks because you have to throw them out quite often. So there. That's my eyes done. Not too much eye makeup. And then for cheeks, I'm going to use this really, really beautiful blusher and highlighter from Lily Lolo. And I'm going to do a review of some of their products soon, but this is what the packaging of it looks like. How Christmassy and beautiful is it? And it's one of their shimmer strips. And the shade is Rose Glow. It's gorgeous. The packaging is gorgeous as well. But it's just this kind of beautiful, stripey, kind of highlighty blush. So I'm just going to get a blush brush and use the kind of three darker shades at the bottom just as my blusher and just as a kind of slight highlight like that that's all I want I've got a couple of things to do today and I've got to rush to a doctor's appointment soon so I need to kind of be a bit quick um, and then for my lips I'm just going to line them with the Essence lip liner in in the nude like that just to kind of define the shape a little bit and then for lip products I've got three of the new 17 ones here so I think I'm going to go with this one here called Showmance which is just a kind of pretty peachy nude colour again haven't used these I think that's quite a pretty colour actually. It's kind of like a nice pinky nude Not Well, it's not nude, it's kind of like a pinky peach, I suppose. It has got more shimmer in, shimmer in it than I would normally like. I normally can only do shimmer if it's kind of um, when I've got a real, real tan. I'm a little bit tanned at the moment, but not too much. But that is it. I am ready to go now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of totally rambly and messy and kind of slightly an old school video, I suppose. But I thought it would just make a nice difference. So let me know. If you hate these types of videos, then tell me and I won't do them again. But I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. By the way, just so we're <laughs> clear on my nails what I'm wearing um it's the Sally Hansen nail polish in bandage and my jumper is from warehouse and that is it you know what I've got on my face because I've just told you and I will see you next time bye